يؤتي الحكمة من يشاء ومن يؤتى الحكمة فقد أوتي خيرا كثيرا Wisdom is something bestowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Whoever receives wisdom has been given something very very great It is an immense bounty It is a very powerful gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted to his chosen people his prophets and messengers. He gave it to his close people, the Salihin, the friends of Allah. And it was a mark of knowledge and intelligence. It was an outstanding characteristic of anyone of authority. Wisdom then is one of the most treasured gifts that a person can have. One definition of wisdom is to do what is appropriate in the manner that is appropriate at the appropriate time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created our hearts and minds such that we can receive many good things, we can process them, and we can do wonderful things with that understanding. So it becomes a very desirable goal for every believer to acquire wisdom. And the first people to get this wisdom were the Prophets والسلام, and through them their followers. In the Islamic tradition, we have countless examples of wise people and their wisdoms. And in this series, we hope to explore some of those wisdoms. And as an outcome, what wisdom does for a person is it enables them to correct their perception of things. It helps them understand things much better. It enables them to say the right things. It enables them to think the right things. It enables them to make the right decisions. It enables them to act in the most beneficial manner to themselves and others. A wise person is always cherished and wisdom is always cherished. In this series, we hope to bring 100 examples of wisdom from the Sahaba, the Tabi'een, and those who came after them. These are gems. These are priceless advices that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened up to their hearts because of His special grace and special mercy and the receptiveness of those hearts. And when these wisdoms become common in a society, then we're left with a society that is much more intelligent and much more selective and much more careful in how they plan things and decide things. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, Ni'am al-majlis alladhi tudhkaru fihi al-hikmah. It is a great gathering in which wisdom is mentioned. So here we hope to have several such gatherings and we invite you to join us and benefit and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open up for all of us the doors of wisdom.